It is time for this week's Real Science, and today an eager group of Dallas elementary students find learning science is for the birds. Jeff Jameson takes a look. In this Maple Lawn Elementary Science class, a lesson on animal survival and adaption is taking flight. Which bird beak is best adapted to catch and eat the food source that's provided at the station? Whether it's mimicking a pelican, a hummingbird, or a parrot beak, Kenneth Rabago students are learning by doing rather than sitting. I feel a sense of accomplishment at the end of the day when we do something like this and they've got those thoughts and those uh, concepts are clicking and they get it. Mr. Rabago punched the clock in the corporate world before he made a big change 13 years ago. I can make a difference. I need to go into teaching because it looked like something that fit me. But did he ever look back? Never look. Well, yes, I did. The first year, uh, first year I taught, I did look back. Uh, after the first semester, I nearly went back. He stuck with it even with the challenges of new standardized testing. Mr. Abago says teaching the scientific concepts is actually the easy part. It's getting the students to go deeper for the STAR test. That's the toughest nut to crack. You actually get to see how the nature feels or see how something works. Because, you know, we're, we're experiencing it, not, not just reading it or, you know, just seeing pictures. We're actually seeing it, like, like doing it. And the learning doesn't stop with the school year either. We have to study in the summer for next year, sixth grade. So you have to study in the summer? That's pretty big, isn't it? Yeah. Are you ready to study this summer? Yeah. Are you going to study this summer? Uh -huh. Okay. Adapting to sixth grade and beyond, these students are ready to soar to new heights. Jeff Jamison, CBS 11 News. Really? He's going to study over the uh, summer? We'll see. A couple more weeks and school's out. I can barely get my summer reading done. People no. still like roll their eyes. I think my kids were the only ones who did really? their summer reading. Yeah, I can't say that I did. <laughs> <laughs> still look at and look the at the science it now. books I read. Look yeah. At him now.